It was Christmas Eve, and Robin was waiting for someone special. Being only a tiny bird, he didn't have a Christmas present to give his best friend, and so he had asked Santa to help. Twittering with excitement, Robin showed Santa the way to Bear Cottage, where his very best friend, Little Bear, lived. Robin sighed that he only had his song to give, and he gave that every day. For Christmas, he wanted to give Little Bear something wonderful. I think your song is wonderful," said Santa. "But I'll see what I can do." But when he took out Little Bear's gift, oh dear, it was empty. What were they going to do? Where would they find something wonderful at this hour? Just then, a trail of light sparkled across the sky. What was that? They cried. A Christmas star? A real Christmas star? Excited, they raced to find out. Do you think it's broken? Chirped Robin. I think it's magic, said Santa. He chuckled and reminded Robin that it was Christmas Eve. Wonderful things happen on Christmas Eve. Magical things. Inside the cottage, there was no sign of Little Bear. Robin knew he'd be tucked up in bed as all good little bears are on Christmas Eve. Santa will be cold in the snow," said Dad. So they left some tasty treats to warm him. Shh! Is that him on the stairs? Little Bear had crept out of bed. He was just too excited to sleep. Little Bear knew that tomorrow would be magical, but he couldn't wait for it to come. Then he heard a familiar song. Robin had come to say good night. Can't you sleep either? Little Bear whispered. I'm just too excited. So Robin chirped a lullaby. At last, Little Bear's eyes grew heavy, and tomorrow was finally just one magical dream away. Now the bears may have finished their preparations and gone to bed, but outside, someone else was still very busy. Up Santa climbed onto the snowy rooftop. With his wonderful surprise, Robin fluttered and chirped with excitement. What was it? What had Santa done? What was the special surprise? Wait and see. Christmas has come! cried Little Bear. And he ran to see the presents under the tree. Go on then," said Mummy and Daddy. "See what's inside." He opened the lid, and there was the Christmas star. Little Bear had never seen anything so beautiful. The star was so thrilled to be with such kind and loving friends. It filled their home with light and magic and wonderful things. But the most wonderful thing, the most magical thing, was the feeling in Little Bear's heart. Thank you, he whispered. He felt very, very special. Thank you, thank you, he cried. But where had this feeling come from? From the treats and goodies? From the sparkly things? Then he heard the faithful little robin singing. And he knew. It was a song he heard every day, and it meant more to him than anything in the world. Have a very merry Christmas, Santa chuckled. I will, whispered Little Bear. I promise. And a happy Christmas to you too. They all cheered happily, and Little Bear knew that Christmas magic, like real friendship and the love that goes with it, lasts forever.